we have a really interesting Todd's Tips for you. No, Kurt. Did I ask you to say anything? Tips? Nobody wants to see Kurt, that. Kurt, do you know you're wearing those grainy glasses again? <laughs> Can't see. Sorry. Anyway. This is not my inspiration. Paul, come over here. Uh, this is the inspiration of Matt Ogden in Indianapolis, who's now done it to seven of his machines. As a matter of fact, here's a clip of Matt now. A very nice mod that no one's done before. As far as so I know, it first. doesn't exist. And, uh, you're the first. This is the seventh fun house that I've done to this end. Gentlemen, did you light you one in California? That you lit the light, they lit the eyes on. This is the only one I've the done that one. too. We want to see those white eyes. This is finishing up the Carmel Film Forum show. So we had a Moto's wonderful film, a beautiful machine, young man. Thank you, sir. It means a lot and coming a from Mr. Way, Todd Tucky of TNT. A fine way to end as we close out the show. We had a great, great time this weekend, haven't we? Definitely did. Definitely yes. did. And Wizard World's Wizard Pinball Arcade. Yep. Yeah. Look, we got the patch, too. We do. That's good stuff. I met that guy out at the show, and, you know... This was really neat. And he has put in here, and I didn't know what he did, but I decided to work on Rudy. Now, Paul here said something really horrible. What did you say about my Rudy? He's creepy. He gives you nightmares. <laughs> this is the first of two Pinmation games, and then the system was abandoned forever, and then Williams folded, closed down. So Pinmation never came again. But do you know, Rudy operates with a very limited amount of parts. There's a motor that moves his mouth up and down, forward and reverse. There is a coil that opens up his eyes and also makes him especially wide. He could be regular and wide. A second coil closes them and a third and fourth coil move his eyes left and right. And then they automatically center. Virtually nothing. Four, four little coils, a couple of linkages, and a motor. So you can adjust it from creepy to creepier? <laughs> Here, move in. Move in. Good. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you for $10 how you can do what Matt figured out and did first in the world. Now, Mike, how yeah. many fun houses have come through your shop? I don't know. I remember when my dad was in business, he probably bought like, I think like 15 of them for his route when they were new. It was crazy. Them and Terminators, they kind of came out at the same time. Well, we're doing something with Rudy here uh, that's going to be, that. that's only been done by one other man. Here he is right here. <laughs> and, uh, uh, no, I flashed a picture of him. You don't think I'm not going to give the man credit? See? He, he doesn't know what post-production is. We're going to edit this, right? <laughs> It's this guy. And he brilliantly came up with an idea to light the eyes, but I didn't ask him how. You see, Rudy can close his eyes by just using four coils. You have complete control. You can open the eyes up wide. You can drop them down closed. And most important, you can move them left and right by four solenoids. An incredibly great mechanism it was called Pidbation. I don't know if you knew that. Now, mm -hmm. my mastermind right here, this is Scott. He is going to figure out how to light the eyes just like my friend did in that clip you just saw. And we're going to see how he did it. Scott, can I give this to you to take over? Sure. 
Okay, make me, make me happy. Try my best. Which, is, yeah, it can't be done. Please be happy, Todd. Here, let's look. And in the meantime, I'm going to send Mike on his way. Michael supplies me with a lot of the rubbish that we recondition <laughs> and sell to you. <laughs> Ooh. Touche? It's a beautiful drive up 83. What can uh, I say? Go, go uh, Orioles. Now, Scotty is preparing uh, the connectors for our strips. He kind of has an idea what we're doing. Everything is soldered and we heat shrink it uh, to make a good quality connection. This has been done already. And they keep the wires together so it looks nice and neat. Okay now here's what Scott developed. Let me show you. You can see it's nicely wire tied. Two separate circuits. Okay, we are using the strips from Comet Pinball, and then Scott has cut them down. Now, we have 10 LED strips, so you can actually buy their four LED strips and put them in. Now, Scott used the sticky backing, but then he backed it up with these fat wire ties to make sure it's in place and doesn't get in the way of the mechanical movements. So, everything still moves independently. All right, so there we go. So far... Our total cost is how much the strips are? Five dollars each, and then you have expense with the wires. So maybe another dollar. So so far we have eleven dollars invested, and then two big wire uh, wire ties. So that's uh, how much? Did I call them wire nuts earlier? Yeah. Oh God! Oh. It's just old age cracking it. Now what's going to happen when Scotty installs that? Let's see. What did you think of the wiring of Rudy's head? Uh, it's very simple. <laughs> it is. It's simple. It's simple. Two strips, ten bucks, and some wire. Now, here's what we did. We wired it below. Don't want to lift it all the way up because all the balls fell out! Now it's up all the way. We might as well raise it all the way. Here's the cabling coming out of Rudy. Four wires. We, and then we wire tied it here and here. And it's tied in, simply tied into the circuits of the lamps. Now when you solder it into the board, you can pick any lights you want. Um, we did the same lights that Matt did. We hooked it up to this red one here for the red eyes. Okay, so when his eyes turn red, it's this bulb. And when the lock turns on, his eyes to go white. Now, because the play field is so well lit, you really can't see. Now, if I cover it, you can actually see both the white and red going on and off, okay? But not until gameplay does it become very There's no balls because they went in the bottom of the cabinet! People are going to think we're stupid. There's two in your mouth. Here's another one. Curtis! <laughs> Where's the third ball? Did it fall on the floor? No, oh, there it is. Isn't it nice that Rudy looks for the balls, too? Well, now we'll give it a start. <laughs> He's very pleased. And we're going to start our ball shot and get the game started. Now, now the way the game is set up is a clock. Right now, it's 6 o'clock, okay? We have to get up to 12 o'clock. And you do that by going on the pop uppers. It's very important that you play on the steps. I also um, play in the pop-up area. You can see we put uh, the color-coordinated color sheet. Oh, God, it got away from me. Okay, we're going to do the step shot. See, right now, the jet pumpers are going to go to max. Let's get them at max. That'll get us up to 12 o'clock. 
Now, whenever this alien shot lights up, darn it, I get Rudy, take the ball away from me, baby. Okay. Let me see if I can get the skill shot. Like that, I will. Okay. Our pop up is at maximum. You notice we're up to 855. Now, our million shot can also be activated. The steps light is lit, so if you go up here and divert you over to the steps, which is down here. And then this here. But we didn't want to do that. We didn't want to do that. I'll get, I'll get the hot dogs. There we go. Now, notice his eyes have not come on yet. It's only 10.50. So if it comes on too often, this is going to be any fun. Aha! Now we have the lock lit. So the lock is lit. See, the lock here is blinking. And the lock, the lights are lit. And now, did you see? Every time the million knocks, his eyes turn red. So let's get around here. We're at 11.45, folks. We'll try. We'll go in the mirror. Lock is lit. Okay, we got the lock is lit again. That's the power show. Reach for the clock. Instead of shooting balls and mouths. Eyes are bright red, blood red. Can you imagine when Pat Lawler is building this game all the fun he had? It's a masterpiece of programming, isn't it? Now, are you going to do this to your game? That's what I want to do. I'm up, Kurt. You're fat, too, and you're loading lady on the flipper. Fatty. Sick. Can you imagine a whole warehouse of these? Like, you're on them, and they're building them. They're all talking down the line. We're all talking. Hey, Buster! Well, you know, Rudy has a lot of tests. So if you go in here, he actually has a Rudy test. Left, right, closed, eyes open, mouth open, mouth closed, eyes wide. Did you see how his eyes went wide? And we filled Rudy with new parts. We just turned Rudy off. He's off. But it had the trapdoor test, which just goes up and down. They were going to do a clock, a, a, a real clock here, but they didn't. There's another wonderful option for, I think it's $2,100. You can get it from Bay City Amusements. It's the Rudy 2.0 kit. And this panel comes out and it becomes full color. It's a color dot matrix. You get a new back glass. And then this comes out, and this becomes a television set. There's a color TV here, and then it does animations, and there's a lot of new programming and new sounds. And it's only 2100 bucks. So that's a, an interesting, interesting option that you could do. For an but, extra five grand, we'll put Todd's head in instead. <laughs> here, wait a minute. I, th I, think, I think we should redden his cheeks for that. <laughs> Anyway, we have more stuff to show you. Let's look. We have a 1974 Gottlieb Buccaneer that's actually in very nice condition. The playfield 
is nice, very nice. Uh, plastics are all complete, none of them are broken. Back glass is decent, it has a little bit, only in the yellow here, and in the title, a little bit of flaking. And uh, it's in good shape. Even look, it even has the original uh, serial number, 5919 or something. A cabinet's decent, <clears throat> it has the usual scratches and dings. And when you press this button, you can program it to start. And I have to put the ball in it. There's no ball in it. You can put the ball on the bottom. Let me find Mr. Ball. Here we are. Over. There we go. Good. There we go. Now we're ready. I noticed everything works except a couple of bulbs and a couple of numbers. On this game, if you roll through the four, that's one of the ones that doesn't work. But the five does. A uh, seven lights this, the eight. And you try to get the whole wagon wheel. So every time you go around this once, <coughs> you will spot another light. Okay, as I said, you're going to have to change some bulbs. There's a couple of rollovers that needs, need some work, like that one there. But I'm sure whatever it is, is doable. Uh, and I think I have to put a little bit... Uh, there, it did come out. <coughs> Sometimes you have to do some adjustments, like in any mechanical game. But the game is running, as you can see, and it is waiting for a homeowner and the price is 900 bucks. So come and pick it up. A late night pickup. It is late. It's actually not too cold. But this, this young man is picking up a rush premium. One of John Borg's many games. He watched my video and he liked how it played. See, John? My videos sell stuff. And you enjoy your beautiful game. Thank you, sir. And remember, if anything goes wrong, don't call us. <laughs> I'll just visit you. <laughs> Lost World. This is one of our bargain basements. The customer bought it as is. It was involved in a trade with the Jungle Lord, the Red Jungle Lord. We went through it anyway and cleaned it up, even though it was as is. Look, it actually came out beautiful. So, the play field's very nice. Back glass is almost perfect. Cabinet is decent. And uh, we think it'll be good, very happy. We did put new, these boots, they were shot. I had to do that just to make sure it was mechanically good. And we made sure every bulb or bub works. We rebuilt the electronics, Frank's button battery. Soundboard has all new capacitors. And look, a brand new rectifier board. And then cap on this, all the lights. We reheated all of the displays. It's ready. It's beautiful. And, open it up, put a credit. This is actually a pretty clever game. No, it's boring. <laughs> well, look, the rules are simple. The A and B lights the dragon's den to score 5,000 points. This is the dragon's den. So watch, A, B. See, 5,000. Isn't that nice? Now, the A, B, C, D, so if we get C and D, okay, Turns into the extra ball. Ah, shoot again. Okay, now the C D E F lights the three times. See, we're on two times now, by the way. That also activated. See, now we're we're well, actually we're up to five times because we got the C and D too. So not bad, huh? And then it also lights the outlines. Now the circuit board is adjusted. So 
to get a special. You know what? He doesn't have it set for that. We have our knocker inside. So, that's something interesting with the game. So, if you go in here. is 14 and 15. So we needed to put 14 and 15. I only had 15 on. So 14 and 15 will get the special. The saucer special, 22 is off, 23 and 24 are on. So we need to turn that on. There we go. That also good. And then the flipper feed lane is 29. 29, you know what? That's off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna turn up now. The way Bally set this up, like most games, to learn the new switch settings, you have to turn the game off, so it's sitting here, off and back on. Now, let's see what happens. There's something we didn't know. So we'll start a game. Let's do again. So we do A and B, like that. C. D, we're two times, an extra ball, E, F, and now I have it set, it's not on alternating, it's on both, so. Oh, I guess we're out. That's all we can get. Can't learn any more. I want to learn more. So there's a maximum. Good. Not bad, huh? Now. If you go into the hole, you'll score either hole on the on the wings. will score whatever it's up to. Play the little two, move up to eight. And now finally, Jonathan, listen. Oh, we're at the maximum of five games. We can't win anymore. No. Well, he can play with the switches. He can play with the switches. Oh, I see the other. Now it's really counting now. Yeah, but let's see what's going on. These are probably loose. Yeah. Sometimes these bulbs, bugs, become loose. There we go. We're in the lamp test. They're all lit. Merrily lit now. And he's going to put LEDs in, I'm pretty sure. So, see if we have it in a bulb or bulb test. Todd, line one and two. Line one is uh, <laughs> Does it ever stop, Jonathan? Nope. It never stops. Good. We're done, John. So we'll take the we'll have the bowl out. I need you to pack this up so we can ship this baby out. Well, somebody, Thomas, has purchased this silver ball, and we just went through the original corporation that sold it as R and R Games. They're actually still in business. They're actually still around. Yeah. But when he sold this game ages ago to somebody. He decided he was going to try to make it perfect. And let me show you what he did. He put all new boards in it. I didn't do this. He did. So if you notice, the Logic, Driver, the LED board, so that'll run all the LEDs. The um, sound board is new. And the power supply. And then, all five digits are new. And you know what? This is the new kind. So you notice we have it in bulb test to make sure all the bulbs work. Or, as Wallace used to say, bubs. Bubs. You saw that already, right? Okay. So now we're going to finish everything else on it. See, look at those brilliant blue displays. Uh, the fellow getting this is going to put a, uh, a brand new... Um, uh, he's going to put a brand new uh, play field on it. A hard top. The last thing I'm going to do is put in the scores. I'm just going to put the lower one in, the 500,000. And then uh, we'll be done. And off this machine goes, 
uh, on its new home. And then he's going to do all the mechanical. Now, we went through and changed. Some of the rubbers were literally breaking. So we went through the machine and changed some of the rubbers. It did have some. Uh, in the showroom, it got all these plays. 299 That's uh, interesting. We had it in there for a while before it made its purchase. And now it's loading and it's ready to play. So, good. It's a wonder. Do you hear that great sound? It didn't used to have it because this poor speaker was in there and all the foam was gone. But now we got deep, rich bass. The man wanted this brought back electronically. New T-molding the cabinet as it is, but we touched it up, but left the original artwork, even though it was a little bit faded. He was determined to keep it as most original as possible. Now we had to do something different with Captain America, didn't we, Kurt? Captain America had to get all new side art and control panel overlay and marquee glass from Zabo's Arcade. It even came with the little stickers for the special four coin slot door. Johnny Cage! Johnny Cage! Well, anyway, this Captain America came up great. And you can be one of the four players here to play the game. It is nice. Nice! We do sell machines as they are, but electronically sound. This Mata Harry is actually in remarkably good condition. Uh, no holes were drilled in the front. So the cabinet has some dings and dents, but the play field's gorgeous. And usually the hole suffers a lot of wear. There's virtually none at all here. We cleaned it up. Made sure every bulb worked. Back glass is near perfect. Electronics have a brand new logic board and a brand new transformer board. They're the two most important things on the game. Our customer is buying this at our special as is price, but we will include, we're going to give him black uh, powder coated legs for this because it, that's what originally had. It had dark color, not uh, silver. But boy, it's beautiful. And uh, has the old fashioned chimes. Right, Kurt? Nope. Aren't chimes a good thing to have? Nope. It would be nice if I hit something. Well, it has a lot of action for its old age, Curdy. Can I play it? Yes, you can. Oh. Good shot, Kurt. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Oh, oh God, Ten you points. didn't hit anything either. Ten uh, now, it always stays at 3,000. That light never goes out. That is wired into the general illumination circuit. So you can't go lower than 3,000 to go in Mr. Hole. But if you go in there, you get 3,000. And look, two times bonus. Now, if you go into Mr. Hole again, you get three times your bonus. What when you be going again? Well, I don't know. Why not? Oh, five times. five times the bonus. That's it, Kurt. Shoot again. Let's see. Oh, no, no, you don't, there's no shoot again. You have to do something else for that. Anyway, this is going out tomorrow, too. Look, this beautiful witch head. World's Fair from the Gottlieb Corporation. It's actually in very nice shape. This was a collector's, and he just traded it in. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. And if you push the button, it loads. It loads the program. There's Mr. Ball. And it seems to be working good. Oh, it got quieter. Our heater went off. Now, of course, this has the big thing in the center. Oh, crap. Yes, it spun. I got seven. So I got, see, now when that spins, you get credit for wherever it lands on. Now, look down here. 
it has a, a screen that tells you how many balls I've played. I've played one so far. It's, this uses an analog Intel processor. Now apparently these bumpers only spin it when it's lit. Now I see that the advantage of spinning it, now what? I got the four, so I got credit for four. So I have less to hit, see? Look at all the cable and cars I have. So you can see what I've got. Now this has memory. So if you're player one, um, it'll always remember what you got down. Now look, do you see the one pop up at the top? It says spin. So I need to get it all the way up top. Ooh, not that way. So now I have 11. I have one more. I know I may have one more after this. I don't need any of these. What I really know that it's fun. I got three. I only need one, two, nine, and ten. Crap. I got two. So now I only need one, nine, and ten. I may do it. The problem is, is one will take me out of the game. 9 and 10 are going to be... Oh, right down the toilet. And look, I did get the 10. Isn't that nice? The game gave me 10. Isn't that nice? It's very nice. Nice shape. It's ready to go. Think of the children that will be happy if you put this under your Christmas tree. Two more bargain basements going out. It has a medium res monitor. Uh, and then we have uh, power drift. That was down to 800, the virtual fighter. And power drift, which is in great shape. We had shopped this at one time. It's actually in really nice shape. And this one uh, is sort of an outrunnish game. But the wheel doesn't shake. But once again, the bargain basement. Because it wasn't bad. But uh, good. They're both ready to go on their trip home to their new owner. Game over. I just made the picture bigger. It wasn't fell on the screen. A landmark game. Mirrored back, um, top glass too. It's mirrored. You can see me in it. <laughs> we have a beautiful Pac-Man here for Sean. Uh, control panel and control panel overlay is brand new. New joystick. It's in the original Pac-Man cabinet. Uh, it got all new art. Uh, it really is beautiful. Uh, Logic Board has two new filter caps here. New fuse block on the bottom. And the monitor was rebuilt with a new flyback. At some point. It was done fairly recently. Uh, we have two LED lights at the top. And over here is our uh, Zebius that we got ready for him. Also for you, Sean. Actually, let's give Sean a thrill. Well, let, let's put a light on the top. How about that, Sean? We're gonna put a new light bulb up there. Let's do that. Voila! Lit. Coin lights lit. We also put a new big blue on the bottom. So, the logic board will get nice steady voltage. And lastly, over here, young man. Look, it still has the 1995 price on it. However, he didn't pay anywhere near that for this. Look at the picture. Beautiful picture. Uh, game is on free play. Inside, there's a test switch. We need to test the controls. And there's also a free play button, but it's already on free play. 
So you flip the switch and then you can go to input output so you can test uh, switches um, uh, like this, that sort of thing. Okay, and apparently you hit these two to exit. And then exit again, goes back into the game. Now listen, there are four uh, notches, four ratchets to hold this down. Rackets. Ratchets, brackets. <laughs> Clips. One, two, three, four. The panel then lifts off. So you can actually see them. Okay? Because we got flustered. And this also has a really unique holder. Let me show you. You can put it in like that to hold it up to work on everything. See? See how that stays up? So it's kind of nice. And then this goes in. We're going to lock down the four locks down. Yeah, Walt and I are going to play. We're already loaded. I already loaded in the hard settings. Ready. Fight. Watch. Ha ha. Kill. I'm going to use my individual compound. Stay lock. You see how I'm hitting the switches just the right way. And then this is how I kill the boy. See, I just tagged him. You have to hit this one in and out 50 times. See? Yeah, I did it again. And I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to do it again. And again. Are you done, son? Are you done? You want a couple more? Okay, I'll give you a couple more. See? There. You did it. Killed him. Killed him. There. Dead. <laughs> it's a like here you're dying. There, how about that? God, what an awful game. I mean, a great game. What a great game. You'll like it. Now, Curdy wasn't here for lunch today, so but hungry. somebody wrote something on here. Kurt. It's a, it's a sandwich starving. Now, Kurt. It's really you, yeah. Oh, nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Curdy. They ate me. Oh, God, they do. It does at least say, Kurt, that's for you. Sorry, I'll just smash it in his toolbox. Chucky, what do you think? No words. no words. No, wait a minute. How do you know whose it is? Curdy, don't. Don't do it. Do it, Kurt. Do it. Don't do it. Oh! <laughs> he can lick it all day tomorrow. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> oh, wait, I got it. Uh oh. I got extra. <laughs> I got plenty of paint over here. Bring it. Curdy and your my sandwich. Wait a minute! I wanted that. <laughs> How do you hate these boys? Are so <laughs> wicked. <laughs> he was freaking out. Why, why did you get carrot? Why did you get carrots? I wanted to make sure I put something in the fridge. That was good. Curdy. I actually thought it was paper towels. Oh God! <laughs> They're so mean to my little Curdy. They hate me. God, they do. Hatred. Now wait a minute. They don't. Chuck doesn't hate me. Chuck showed up with a whole box of snacks for me. Look at this. Gotta keep you fed. You gotta keep me fed. And the best news is there are only a, a hundred calories on each bag. So that means I can eat 20 of these each day. Is this my lunch? Oh, oh God, lunch. finally. Where's your lunch? <sighs> finally. Looks like one serving. <laughs> Looks like one serving. The abuse, the constant abuse. Sandwich. So hungry. And we were just, Chuck, weren't we were just watching one of my videos, and I didn't realize how great my videos are. See, look, look at how, what a great opening this is. Freddie, what do you think? You don't get openings like this. I mean, look at all the time I spent on this, and nobody appreciates it. Special effects. 
Oh, mad planets. Kids go bonkers for mad planets. I thought they did in Street Fighter. See, Chuck, these could all be in your house. Yeah, but instead of buying pins, And look at all these great games. Swords of... That's what he just fun. Did Swords of Fun. And look, Sheldon came and visited us this day. Amazing. We haven't seen Sheldon since. See, the problem is, is he's stuck in that nursing home. It's terrible. And you gotta get him out. We gotta break him out. You gotta break him out. I agree. Well, there it is. And there's a video for you to watch now. So you go and watch. It's 1481. Like Only 500, 5,000 views, Chuck. Uh, and I already have eight thumbs down. You can have more after tonight, Todd. Uh oh. Oh. Now we just picked this up. A competitor had sold this to their, to one of our customers. He had delivered it, but he said it did not work. So one of the reasons are some of the rubbers, and I, I you know, it's got the pop-up jewel system. It also, your yeah, pop-up jewels. It also has a little bit of mouse oh, hair. Any of that? Is that mouse hair? Goodbye. It could be a pussy, a mousey. Curdy, there's a little mousey in here, maybe. I wonder if there's one inside. We should call the s and &S Amusement Corporation. They have a complete line of amusement games. S-S S and S. S and S. <laughs> <laughs> this better work. <laughs> okay, now. There, it's on. Works. I'm hitting the start button, nothing. But the SS Corporation, see there's still some bulbs glowing. Fire's perfect. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> oh. oh <my> God. <laughs> Curtis, I have to bloop that out. <laughs> Jesus. <Sorry>. Curdy. <laughs> Curdy. Well, it looks like everything is perfect. This will fix everything. Yep. It's from the SS Corporation, Kurt. Jam in there. That penny will work. It's jamming in one of the switches. Perfect. This is the this is the heart of the machine. The thing that looks like a music thing. See, it's loading. It's coding. It doesn't understand. It's looking for the uh, the digits in the head. Mm -hmm. So it's looking. It's searching. It's not a roll tilt. Yeah, the ball roll tilt. Yeah. It's good. It's not oh, too bad. Gonna work. Not too shabby. Can we put the airport head on top of this one? Starpool! Curdy, how is this wonderful Twilight Zone? We I, sold this years it? ago. Can I have it? Can and I have it? the customer put in the LEDs. We've gone and checked everything out. The game's in beautiful condition, and the customer's saving some dough, but we did put a whole new front artwork on because he had damaged the top when he put the, used the top leg holes. But the original artwork on the rest of the cabinet is perfect. Zero color fade. All the boards are serviced. It's beautiful. He also put in LED so the customer did put some dough into this. A brand new clock board with the LEDs. And then we serviced all the other, everything else in the game. So. It came out really nice, didn't it, Kurt? What's it called? Display. Well, you know, some people buy the color display and then they make it black and white. Cool. Definitely cool black and white. Well, yeah, yeah. 
we have a wood to build it up now. It, it does include um, temp the uh, powder coated. So it's ready, Kurt. It's ready to ship out on Monday. What? That's right, Monday, baby. We have a weekend. That's right. Now, do you see that? That is 44 years of greatness, which is me. And I'm going to put it right there, bang, on this Joker Z that we have dolled up. I made it beautiful. Look at this thing. It is beautiful. Even in the dark. Now, we took out the original three red caps here. We put clear ones in and color changes. This gives us a wonderful color arrangement. Now look, let's go in and play poker with the king. Hey, look up here. poker! See how bright it is? We have super bright LEDs oh, in it. Oh, good. Look, <coughs> I got two there. 25,000. That was pretty crappy, wasn't it? Sometimes when you play with a king, you don't get to the school. Now look, you have two, two skill shots here. Okay? Ah, not hard enough. This has a gauge. You have to figure out how far back you need to do it. I got it. I got the wild card right at that time. They have three sets of drop targets. Okay? One, two, three. You can also hit this button, and it electronically operates this motor so you can do this. Woo! Joker's wild! Right. Now I have two ball multi ball. Isn't that nice? If you go up here again, like so, we go in there like that. There's a lot of nice stuff to do with this. Now, you can see between the flippers. Okay, we don't want to disturb the king. Did you notice the blue lights this area up nice? Let's see if we match. No match this time. And the game gives you this little light show at the end. has protected the play field all these years. Look at the cabinet. Paul's going to show you the cabinet. Stephen has worked his magic on. It's beautiful. The cabinet is gorgeous, like me. Look at the but not like me. I mean, we went so far as to add a new barrel spring here. Right there, young man. And we even have a new instruction sticker right here. And we went all out on this puppy. Of course, all the boards have been serviced, capacitors, everything. Uh, ramps are in great shape. Actually, I don't think the ramps are broken at all, no. I mean, they're in great shape. We're done. We're done. And this is ready to be delivered and get this puppy out. Well, here it is. Got the monitor in it, flat screen. Makes it, ooh, like 70 pounds lighter. Um, new surround, brand new control panel with the uh, trackball, and of course your joysticks on this side, and uh, new artwork, new T-molding, but this is an original Namco cab. Here, come back here. <laughs> it's an original Namco. It looks like it was replated. Ah, replated with gold. Mm -hmm. The only thing missing, we had to put the handle on, because there's no, so they took the handle off to paint. So we're going to put that back on, and then it's ready to go with the shuffle in. Looks good. Just play, push the button to program it. Use this to start your gameplay. Now what makes it neat is you can play the game with the joystick. Isn't that the idea? No. Why well, pick the fast one? Or you can play it with the trackball. So you can have different competitions. Trackball, joystick. You may want to stick with the joystick there, buddy. 
the super fast one's hard. I got one, Frank. Got two. <laughs> anyway, uh, Gallagher on one side, Mrs. Pac-Man on the other. When she get married? Long time ago. Looks like Miss to me. Mrs. It's Mrs. M. See the R here? R. S. M. R. S. That's what's in front of your name. What? Okay, here are your four games. We sold all four in our bargain basement. This is the gauntlet. Our control panel is in great shape. The original Atari controls. And uh, the stereo works fine. And uh, welcome to everyone. Works good. It's actually in good shape. It's got a little tear here. Um, we put a brand new power supply in it. And we also put new casters. Actually, Jesse did. He put four new casters on all four of your games. Uh, can you plug in the Star Trek next? Now the Star Trek, you already know, has no picture, but it does have sound. So the inside is very clean, and the cabinet's very clean. So you can hear it starting. Welcome aboard, Captain. So we just have no picture. Anyway, so that is working. Not too shabby, right? Okay, now, the Frogger is in really nice shape. Control panel overlay. I think somebody put a new one on. We have to put a couple of wing nuts to hold this down for you. Uh, but it has new casters on it. But what it doesn't have is uh, the yoke on the monitor. And this is a funky monitor, so you're going to have to change the monitor. And of course, as you know, there's no logic board. But uh, it looks like somebody changed the power supply at one point. And we do have some doors for it. Now, I have a surprise for you. Here, pl uh, plug in the joust. It turns out that the power supply is in it. And not only that, it almost powers up. It comes up with a 138 code which could be a RAM. Here, Kirk, can you push the RAMs in just to see? 138 is row one, I think. Can you see the one that's hanging out? Oh, that could be it. Sorry, that could be it. Logical. Here, unplug it, Jesse, real quick. And we'll try it again. That could be it. Do you need a light? Here, let's get another one. That didn't fix it either, but everything's in it. So that's the good news. And once again, they all have footies on them. And the cabinet's in generally good condition. The paint actually looks pretty decent. Needs T-molding, of course. Uh, but the original controls, control panel overlay's nice. So we got your four games. They're ready to go. This is an Atari System 1 cabinet. You notice the side Ooh. art. It used to have Marble Madness in it when we took it in, but the cabinet was kind of really awful. Nah. We ended up selling ass. Yes. Well, it wasn't that bad. I mean, if you look, the speakers are still in grand shape, the stereo speaker system. But right here, we're including it, no extra charge because we're selling the cabinet complete with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, a little mouse house that was behind the glass and in front of the monitor. So what well, better place to be? It, it's a grand game. And we're going to include the coin door. Ooh. No extra charge. We're going to include the fan that will carefully clean the machine out and this important caution tag stapled on at the Atari headquarters. And for only $50, you can own Marble Madness, Road Blaster, Indiana Jones, Road Runner, and of course, Peter Packrat. 
any of those five great games will fit in this marvelous $50 cabinet. Do I have any takers? We have here a Tempest. And I just so happen to have here the man who bought it. That's this fool, this wonderful man, Darren. Hello, everyone. Darren has been waiting for his Tempest. You'll notice we put a brand new overlay. We put a brand new top. We put brand new purple tea molding, which suits it exactly right. We also put in the brass nylon. They used to be nyloners, but the brass bearings inside that you can order. See how quiet? They, it's, you can spin it with the tip of your finger. We've set it for now for demonstration mode. So if you play the game, you can actually start up at level 81 if you want. So you could. Now we'll start at, this is uh, level 26. Uh, you'll die quickly. <laughs> you will die very quickly. But you know, I don't have to die. Here's why. If I hold down, the one button, I can fly in. This is called the demonstration mode. So Atari could demonstrate this, it shows, to show the zillion levels of play. Isn't that something? The downside is it won't put your high scores in. So, but we wanted to show you a demonstration mode. Look at how beautiful this cabinet is. This is the original side art. Okay, now this Serial number is 21830. Uh, so, question is, is how many? Do you think it's 21,830? What? Uh, now, we've rebuilt the power supply, all new capacitors, the Atari Big Blue on the bottom. Kurt cleaned all the, the sockets, switches, um, the chips. Monitor's been rebuilt. We put in the LV2000 right over here. See that little board? That little board with the two green lights, that keeps the, the, the game running right. And the chances of the monitor failure are like zero. The high voltage has got all new parts in it. We, we put a lot of time and energy in it. And do you know why we put all that time and energy into it? Do you know why? Because you had to. <laughs> no, because it's you. Oh, if this was anybody else, I would have done nothing to it. <laughs> I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even changed the bulb on the top. Aren't I good to you? Oh, yes, you are. Darren has bought a lot of games from me. This is number 15 for That's me. That's right. Can I get it in? Now we got to figure out what number 16 will be. It would be either um, the 83 Star Wars or uh, Dig Dug. Really? Dig Dug? That's so common. I've had a million pass through here. Haven't I? I haven't well, seen any good. Not recent, recently. 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 Not recently, yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed tonight's video because we ended with the Tempest. Te by the way, it was originally called The Tempest. But at the last minute, they erased the word the. How's that for a piece of history? Quackery. Now, there's no history that I made it up. I just do that to piss off my haters. And anyway, we are done for tonight. So let's shrink the screen slowly. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs>